Scorpio, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Before we get started, let's go over ground rules. Yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else. So do keep in mind it does not have to be about a significant other, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover that type of situation. It's whomever fits the dynamic as I'm describing it. So that being said, it could be about a family member or a friend. So try to keep an open mind about it. Yeah. Regardless, take what resonates, live does not reverse energies as you see fit. More so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. And I know that's frustrating, but it's also normal, you know? They can't all resonate, nor should they, and don't force them to fit, right? So try to keep an open mind about how they apply to you, if at all. That being said, if it resonates not at all, check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Let's get started. What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio and their person. Show me Scorpio and their person. Show me Scorpio and their person. Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio and their person, please. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I explained in the intro, reverse and synergies as you see fit. What's going on? Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, King of Cups, you. <laughs> Literally growing back into yourself at a healthy pace, I must say. You seem to be slowly but surely developing your pathway for constitutes happiness. It's kind of like I'm doing it my way, right? And it's taken you a minute with the Seven of Pentacles, but slowly but surely you are understanding for you under your own terms of personal development and pathway in this life. However, it shows up in the 3D. You're saying it's slow, but I'm happy. So it's kind of like you're enjoying your particular days right now. You don't seem to be in much of a rush. You like what it took to get you here and you're in a good place, kind of at a resting point, you know? Typically, Seven of Pentacles, as we know, is not my favorite card, but it also depends on the surrounding context. Here it says it took you a long time to understand what happiness is, and now that you're there, you're not in a rush to exit it, nor should you be. So that's some beautiful context there. See? All cards have pros and cons. Just depends on what we do with it. You know, there's no happiness quite like well-earned happiness. It was methodical, and it took time. Therefore... At your own time and pace, enjoy your happiness. You earned it, and there you are, right there, King of Cups. Sun's out for you. You look happy. You look warm. You look peaceful. Surrounding, Knights of Pentacles, Judgment, the Star, you know. The day I don't see Judgment or the Tower attached to a Scorpio reading, I will be ah, aghast. Just, so... Whomever is connected to you right now at this, at, <laughs> at a kind of spiritual way, they're trying to navigate to a particular star, a calling, a desire. It doesn't seem to be currently attached to you. They are currently finding their own way in terms of not just happiness that you're showing me, which is already well earned and you're enjoying your garden as you should. Love yourself. Your person's kind of wandering, but I don't know that it's necessarily aimless. It's taking them a minute to tune into what they understand desire and long-term goals and wish fulfillment to be. So the star is a far-reaching consequence. You have to reach for it continuously in order to know that it's yours. And with judgment here, they don't quite seem to know what their star is or their desire is. They're trying to listen. They're trying to hone in. But with the Knights of Pentacles, who is not in a rush, they're having a hard time. I hope they can tune into it. What the star has to do with you if uh, you're part of that desire, the long reach and consequence, that kind of thing, I don't know. That's for them to understand. Spiritual journeys such as this are hard to define. You're currently happy in your 3D realm and you earned it, so don't be in a rush to leave it. They have something that they're on the pathway of. And that pathway is never so easily defined. Oh, of course, the lover showed up. My, my, my. Oh, and the Six of Cups, as if we had to say the same thing twice. So that means 100% we have shared memories with this person. There's no way in heck we don't. Okay. And the Five of Wands. We've got a bit of a tiff there. Overview. Two of Wands. Decision-making. Living in the moment. Living in the present. Being responsible for your choices. 
understanding when to wait and understanding when to leap things forward via decision making, possibly communication. I don't know. You're in such a non-pressured atmosphere, which I absolutely love for you. It makes me happy then to see the two of wands in some way. It kind of says, I'm in the present and I'm living in the now. I earned it. I'm happy. Right? Now with your shared line, ho, 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 so much... So much energy there for our person between the two of you. So this, let's make this clear. This is absolutely shared. Lovers by nature is dual. Six of cups, two. There is resistance from at least one person. Frustration. Maybe some anger. I don't know. You're doing your thing and you earned it. And they're in the process of... I believe, understanding how to earn the star and what does that mean, what does that look like. But again, they have to dial into the universe to understand that. Bit of a trick there. So, how you two are connected? Well, bare minimum, it's at the spiritual level, if that helps. Okay. So I'm going to start right there with that two of wands. Okay, I'm not saying you're perfect, but it is nice to see the sun out for you. You're saying, this is my place, I've earned my place, and not in rest to leave it. You know? Let's see that two of wands, from that two of wands, please. Show me that two of wands. Let's see that two of wands, please. Judgment. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, you already had your judgment call, honey. <laughs> and that was simply to deal with your pain. You had a lesson in that, and you reflect on it often. Two of Wands, again, is active. Okay, it's not passive, it's active. You're showing me I make the best decisions I can based on the here and now and the present information I have today, not yesterday, and what I think the future might be. No, 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 right now. And that's all any of us can do. You say you have to make conscious level decisions to look forward to things every day, to be happy every day, to remind yourself who you are every day and what your lessons are. Okay. And you've had some very strong insights about pain and what does that mean? What it is to be afraid of rejection? What it is to have to reject others or something outside of yourself? That's cinnamon. We have heavy, heavy humidity today. She's coughing like crazy. Nobody in this house likes humidity or pollen. <laughs> so we've had some very strong lessons and insights, specifically truths, about the heart or the root of pain and what does that mean and learning from those lessons. So you've already had your particular judgment call and you try to live it every day. I'm not saying you're hyper aware of it every day, but you're showing me high levels of consciousness. I do the best I can with what I know, literally. And that's good. That means you had something to learn, which means once you learned it, you are now under the obligation to apply that knowledge. And so you do a little bit every day. Okay, so far, straightforward process, how that lends to the rest of the story, we shall see. But I do know you've already processed your particular judgment, so congratulations to you. Whatever your hard-earned truth is, it helps you navigate and prevent three swords. Staying here in the moment, some of you that was your lesson, to live in the present, make decisions in the present. And this is what I know to be true today. Maybe not yesterday, maybe not tomorrow, but today. This is the truth as I understand it. Very good. You know, I know that looks so simple, but mm, there are people who spend a whole lifetime trying to understand what their particular truth is. Or walking around completely unaware that they have a truth at all to abide by. So, congratulations to you. It's lended to your state of self and happiness. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles, please. Show me that Seven of Pentacles. But you have a strong truth about pain. What you will tolerate. What you will carry. What you will not carry. You know? All right, let's see that Seven of Pentacles, please. Ace of Pentacles, Death, Two of Wands, reflecting on a decision back here. Okay. Yeah, there is something here 
You made a decision on some time ago with the Seven of Pentacles. Let me make this clear. I'm saying a past concept for you that you reflect upon in present day as part of your present day set of lessons. It's something you reflect upon often. I'm not saying that it rules your life. What I'm saying is your ability to make present day oriented decisions that are best for you is based on a very difficult decision you made in the past. And you're saying ever since that day when you rejected an ace of pentacles, something that you did not participate in or claim as new, or you refused to renew it. You're saying ever since that day, I had a better sense of how to navigate a decision-making process where when I make decisions, I will no longer allow myself to be hurt. So there's something here very distinct that took you a long time to develop that particular sense of rejection. There was something you built on, but it took you a long time to understand you needed to stop doing it. Something that I'm sure you meant well with, with that Ace of Pentacles. But it would not, or you refused at some point to renew it. That was the last time you made a kind of conscious decision that was sizable. And you're saying that ever since that time, that moment in time, I've been making clear, level-headed decisions ever since. I don't know what that day and time was, because you're reflecting on it in the past. But ever since you stopped renewing an offer in a situation somewhere, possibly with somebody, you're saying you've been making clear decisions for yourself ever since one based heavily in lessons to stop giving to something or someone. That decision has served you well. It was a decision for you that benefited you spiritually. Something wasn't growing, but we kept trying. And you stopped participating. So thank you for showcasing to me today what it looks like when you stop participating in something that's not for you, or it's not correct, or it's not building correctly, okay? You felt a sort of spiritual uh, release, and then also more confidence in doing the right thing and understanding the right thing. That's why I see you making decisions by the present, not of the past, or for the future. Just living in the moment. That must have been a critical day for you. Let's see that sun, please. Like I said, you had to earn your happiness and sense of uh, love of yourself and joy. Over time and understanding, you were doing something wasn't working. And you kind of experienced the spiritual release ever since, I believe. Again, no such thing as perfect. All we can do or make those decisions that we understand to be right for us. But sometimes it takes us doing a seven of pentacles before we understand it's not going anywhere. Okay. We stop renewing that Ace of Pentacles. There doesn't seem to be any conflict over that decision. It's another reason why I'm interpreting it as being an old one. But it's caught up to you to this day. Giving you peace, warm. Let's see that sun, please. Whatever conflict there was surrounding that decision is done. It's old. The Six of Cups. Ace of Cups, the Page of Swords. Has something just begun? Mm -hmm. What's happening? The sun's out. Six of Cups right there on the midline making good decisions. Sun, Six of Cups, Happiness, Solbon. Whom are we connecting to? It feels warm, it feels lovely. Page of Swords feels a little intimidated. 
It feels very inviting. Let me see you as the King of Cups here. I'm trying to get a reference for time. Old reflection. Did it allow you to open up to this? Had you not ended this sense of futility here, it would not have allowed you to expand into the Six of Cups. Let's see that King of Cups, please. That page of swords is looking very shy, standing up to all this positive emotional energy here, plus the sun. But we know this person. We do know this person. Six of Cups, beautiful memories. Sweetness, nostalgia. The Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the Five of Wands. The Star, Five of Wands is crossing you in future. You look like you have a full heart. Your pathway will cross with this person again. Their star is coming into conflict with what you feel for someone else. I agree with your decision. Since your decision, the conflict for you stopped. And you made a good one. I can see that because uh, every time you make a decision, you refer back to spiritual lessons about the futile uh, lessons in futility, building, and there's nothing there to show for it. So I think your choice was correct here, especially as you seem to live by it every day, understanding once more, is this worth it? Or is this just going to cause me harm? Okay. And then I see something over here for you that's quite delicate, but it's lovely. It looks like it's just unfolding. It's just peeking through as sunshine, happiness, love. New love, I believe, or newly discovered love with someone whom we know to some extent. You have a special connection with this person, Six of Cups. But the Ace of Cups is there too. And the Page of Swords, little guy. It's almost like he's a little scared to check out all this pure love that I'm seeing. Okay. Attached to it is warmth, happiness. A beautiful bond. And further down the road, you, King of Cups, with the fullness of heart. Time has passed with the Wheel of Fortune. That star, that someone whom is spiritually connected to you, is kind of, kind of slow, I suppose, to discover. Literally comes into conflict with what you're experiencing. Is there competition here? You wouldn't know. This star, by the time this person discovers their star, which apparently leads back to you, <laughs> comes into the conflict with what's folding, unfolding with someone else, I believe. So is the Five of Wands here, as I'm saying it, very, very, very minor and also old school interpretation of tarot is competition. I very rarely default to that interpretation, nor should you. It's not the dominant interpretation. Usually it represents conflict of some type, internal or external. Not necessarily specific to just competition. I think that's what I'm seeing here today, though, however. By the time this person navigates their star, your heart is showing fullness for something or someone else. Oh boy. All right. This person, I believe, claims a spiritual attachment to you. But as far as I can tell, they're taking quite the time to discover that. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles, please. Some of that Knight of Pentacles, some of that Knight of Pentacles. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles, please. Mm. 
<laughs> Cinnamon's taking a nap by the door. So when she uh, kind of rolled over her paw, I need to get her nails trimmed. Um, scratch the door. Let's see that Knights of Pentacles, please. I don't know why she loves to sleep by the door, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> That Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Moon. <clears throat> this person secretly <sighs> resists the idea of friendship with you. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, they act like they don't want it or to construct something. Okay, so this is very non-active in your life. Like I said, at bare minimum at this place and time, this person is spiritually connected to you. Whether or not you know them yet, I don't know, but they show up on your future timeline and come into conflict with what you are developing, I believe, with someone else. So just to reemphasize my main point with this person that I've seen so far is that they are currently not connected to you in the 3D. They are on a particular path and or journey, and the longer it takes the more inevitable that future timeline becomes where they show up as a conflict of interest. Okay. The less time they take, well, you know. Anyway, three of pentacles, nine of wands, the moon, you know. They actively suppress any concept of working things out, uh, getting acquainted with you, it's a secret under their moon, like they resent that that secret's even there, or that feeling that pulls even there. It's a kind of low-key resentment where they feel pressured or inclined to make themselves known to you, to work with you, to try to be friends with you. It's almost begrudging. It's an instinct that they wish wasn't there. And yet they feel it. Let's see judgment, please. It's flattering as that is. Well, you put it this way, there's a reason you two aren't physically connected, at least not at this time. The idea of them even putting forward basic cooperation to get along, raise the white flag, constructively work things through you, no, they resent that, and yet it's there under the moon. It's a resentful feeling. I'd like to work things out with Scorpio. No, I wouldn't. Scorpio. It's kind of like that. Let's see judgment, please. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Yeah, regret. Regret. It's literally coming across with missed opportunity with you. Mm -hmm. That they didn't give more, do more, etc. Uh, the idea of pride and or ego or confidence got in the way or they were too much about the outward connection um, and how it made them feel as opposed to what they were actually giving to it. So it's coming across as missed opportunity. Hence why I'm saying a kind of begrudging admission that's more like a secret that they try to suppress, that they have a natural inclination and or instinct to try to work things out with you, which again, they suppress and angrily. Judgments attached to this person, you know, you snooze, you lose. And I remember saying something similar to uh, for you, I believe, on your intimate tarot. I, I, I kind of, yeah. If it harkens back to that, uh, perhaps watch it if you missed it, okay? But judgment, yeah, five of cups, page of pentacles, six of wands, you know, there's more about the glamour here and that sense of ego or pride. It felt good to be connected or that the idea that they could raises the ego, but the actual definition of the connection was not invested in very well. It's, again, they could have given more, and they didn't. It's a missed opportunity of Five of Cups, regret, loss, remorse, judgment. Again, you snooze, you lose. Um, it was on them to participate more or to give more, and they've been kicking rocks. So their attitude is kind of sour. Um, but this comes from that thing of you need to know what you want, or otherwise you will, you'll never invest properly. Um, you know, you, all you have yourself is to blame for not knowing what to do. This is why you have to know yourself. What do you want? And when you know that, things fall into place. You won't have any missed opportunities or remorse. And it has to be more than, it makes me feel good. Great, you know, I'm glad the connection personally made you feel good, but did you stop and think about how you were making me feel or how we were developing this connection or not? But hey, it made you feel good, right? 
So um, it, right now I'm seeing a lot of resistance. Resistance, it's like I didn't miss nothing. You know, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't want to invest. Okay. So this is why it's taking so long for this person to understand what they want. It's because the more we deny it, the more we feel small and petty and begrudging. We get the result of that, which is to say not much. Not much has shifted. And uh, so even while they're currently not connected to you, the idea is that they could be, but they'd have to step into that particular enlightenment, own it, and prepare themselves for it. Otherwise, they're just drifting. I just see them drifting. They don't seem to be any wiser for wear, despite the fact that time is passing right before their eyes. So their energy can remain small, or they can own what they want and get to it before it comes into a place of conflict with you in future. By then, by all rights, I see you connecting to someone else. And it looks lovely, to be honest. It's, it's almost like you're shy about it with the Page of Swords. Like you weren't expecting something, frankly, I would dare use the word wholesome. It looks wholesome, Scorpio. The Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups and the Sun, that looks very wholesome and loving. And just easy, sweet. It's almost like you don't know how to react to it, Page of Swords. It's like, I've never had a connection in my life that met that criteria, Christina. Oh no, I can tell. You're a little shy about it. <laughs> it's almost like you don't know what to make of it. It's like you're looking at a two-headed dragon. It, one dragon alone is already quite fascinating, never mind one two heads. It's like you just... <laughs> You know, it's, uh, it's this, I, I just, I kind of want to tell this person to pick it up, but you can't. I mean, that's the whole thing about judgment. It's your lesson that you learn on your time and it's your own loss. If you don't learn it fast enough or willfully enough, you have to know that you want the lesson. You have to know that you want to be changed. You have to know that you want to be influenced. You have to know what a star is to you. What the hell do you want in this life and why? And what are you willing to do to get it? And people who are uninspired and they don't know themselves, they end up kicking rocks. Like that. Spiritual rocks too, they're just as bad as the real ones. So I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm having a hard time feeling sympathetic to this person because they've had more than enough time to catch up to who the hell they are. <laughs> and what the hell they want. If they don't understand a connection should go beyond, you make me feel good, now I don't have it, mm. then they're meant to miss out. My sympathy for this is limited, you know. The star. And I can say the same thing for you, so be careful with this. Because that's a beautiful six of cups, ace of cups right there. So I understand your initial, what, kind of reaction, you know. So if you want the purity of that and the love of that and the support to that, you got to know you're going to have to amplify that page of swords. Who that six of cups is, I don't know. But by all rights, you do in some way. Okay, Someone who, again, fits the criteria of unique. You may not know them very well. But perhaps they've shown up on your timeline over time in some way. Let's see the star, please. Some of the star, some of the star, some of the star, some of the star. Cinnamon, honey. Oh. oh, poor pumpkin. All right. Page of Cups, Three of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Gosh, by the time they open up to you and they actually have confidence with it with the King of Pentacles, it comes into conflict with what and who you are. It took, why did it take them so long? Why, why, why does it take them so long to understand and get out of that pettiness and the smallness and pride? And I don't want that. It just made me feel good. Really? That's it. You, you, you didn't get clued in about the fact that you still kind of secretly want this even though you begrudgingly deny that at the same time. That wasn't your first clue that this wasn't done for you. Really, with the smallness and the shitty attitude, really. Oh, God, the power human beings are given and look at what we do with it. God, it's so frustrating. 
I know this person thinks they don't have any power. And I know that because people who feel like they don't have any power, it shows. They get angry, little, petty, that kind of thing. And then the opposite's true. People who have a strong sense of entitlement, and this is for me and that's for me, and it's clearly not, they'll have the same shitty attitude. But here we have judgment stars attached to this person. They're like, I'm a human being and I'll live 300, 400 years. I can do this whenever I want, if at all. And look at what we do with it. A sense of guidance by the universe. Come on, man, figure it out. Step it up, step it up. Come on, lady, figure it out. Step it up. By the time, like I said, the star appears on your timeline, do you see what happened already? That star shows up on your timeline as the Wheel of Fortune. By the time it crosses your path, three of wands, they took so long to wait to make a decision to open their heart. I see you connecting to someone else. And it comes into conflict. They're immediately angered again. There it is, this competition. It is competition, my love. <clears throat> I do not want this and even my own sense of remorse for this person because they just can't seem to get their shit together energetically, spiritually, or otherwise until much too late in the game. And even then, it's the delivery so small. If they could... You see this? Small. Small. Manageable. But small. If they could have cottoned on to their judgment a little bit up here. They could have predated this one just a little bit. I see things very differently, guys. I know it, it probably makes, it sounds like I'm saying gibberish to you. I'm, I apologize. It's just I've been doing this a long time. And I have to remember to backtrack to explain things that I can see that perhaps you can't. But do you see how this is small, but it's manageable? Did it really take all that fussiness and the denying and the pissy offness and the rejection of simple truths, remorse and regret and ego? Did it really take all this time to get to here? Was it that hard? Because by the time their star, okay, I know what I want and I can start here, it's not much. Even they say it took me a long time. I was waiting on myself. For you, it comes out in reality of, really? And it causes conflict. Because you're showing me a fullness of heart, not for them. But for this. Whatever this is. Too little, too late. I believe. That, that depends. Terror doesn't dictate action, you do. This is one of many things that I'm seeing here today for choice. That's plausible. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess then this character was your lesson over here. The reason it took you time to understand and get back in touch with your own personal sense of happiness is that you understood the futility, seven of pentacles for yourself when you last engaged with this person, that there was no consistency here. And you renewing it was foolish. Does this person represent that decision? One that you still abide by and learn from every day. Am I right? Okay, let's jump on over here to the shared. Let's do keep in mind, I'm going to have a job here sorting energies as now there's technically three energies on the board. This person, yours, and this um, wholesome six of cups. Okay, let's see that lovers, please. <clears throat> Show me the lovers, show me the lovers. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers. It did not feel like 35 minutes. Almost everybody's is over 40. I think everyone's is. Yours and theirs tends to be very preoccupying. It does, because I, I want to give everyone the full weight of measure, but um, still. I do tend to go over 40, and I know I shouldn't. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Chariot. Uh, someone here is saying I'm here because I want to be. 
Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, it's um, it's showing up. It shows up fast. It shows up with a full sense of self. It's wherever there was emotional detachment here, Eight of Cups. Someone is showing the Chariot to show up more forcefully than perhaps in the past. But uh, or this is someone showing up to you. Okay, I don't, uh, I don't quite know, but the lovers here, given the spiritual connectivity attached to this person in order to generate more activity towards you, so they can, you know, but that means they have to figure out what the heck they're doing, what they want, etc. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that this lovers then represents this individual because of the strong spiritual connectivity and lessons attached to it, lessons that you already showed me for yourself, and they had lessons too. The lovers, if nothing else, is a big fat lesson. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Um, someone is showing up with the strength of individuation, saying, this is me, I'm here. You know, um, eight of cups, we were emotionally detached before, but I'm here now, that kind of thing. I'm also saying it on the reverse end because the lovers, again, is dual. Recognizing this energy, you recognizing this energy, saying as my own person, I had to walk away from this because it wouldn't move forward. Uh, oh, my goodness. This is why, guys, it's... <laughs> reading one energy is already tricky enough. Two, okay. Th three. Mm -hmm. Let's see that uh, six of cups, please. I'm going to look back on this one, and if it's way too complicated, I'm going to scrap it. Let's see, six of cups. I do have to keep in mind, while it might make sense to me, it may not to you as a viewer, which would be a failing on my part if I'm not explaining it properly, so I apologize. Let's keep going for now. Nine of Wands, the world, strength. Okay. Mm. You're not, you're not, you're not losing your six of cups. You refuse to part ways with it. Good. I was wondering what you were going to do. You're saying you could suppress it with the Nine of Wands, but you're choosing to not resist it. You're showing me strength towards the Six of Cups. You're saying that's the one worth keeping. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, I do. You guys, you, you have to make decisions. Back to your opening. I'm wondering how that was going to play out. You need to make decisions based on the present, not at the past. Congratulations that they finally figured out what they want. I'm just saying from my point of view, shoulda, coulda, woulda been much sooner. But um, at the opening, you made it clear, I cannot continue to reinvest in this. It proved itself over time what it is. So I guess the idea of you saying yes to it, it would be an admission of opening back up to the same exposure. And I can kind of see why. It doesn't really give you much of a sense of inspiration, strength, or much conviction that at long last they finally figured it out. Again, this is something that could have been achieved a long time ago. So yeah, there's a reason why I think you're sticking to that wholesome cup. I, I see you refusing to participate in resistance, you're going to keep going with the Six of Cups. And again, I don't blame you. Let's go ahead and see that Five of Wands. You won't tolerate the five of wands. The high priestess, six of swords. You made that. Uh, you made that very clear. You won't tolerate it. It's like uh, again, by the time their star that they know that they finally, at long last, want to open up and be a little more authentic instead of rejecting the truth, and it's so fucking small. This, 
this person's sense of, of pride or self-rejection gets in the way so much that it, it, it leaves them with this sense of remorse. I made the wrong decision, but hey, it felt good, and that, 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 blah, blah, back and forth. This should have been achieved so much longer, a time ago, so much longer. And by the time it shows up, it does cause conflict over your heart, you. And you will not tolerate the conflict or the competition. You won't have it. As far as you're concerned, there is no competition. I have to agree with you. There isn't. I'm sorry. It took the, They have all this power to discern this information just like you did, to make decisions just like you did, to be impacted by the spiritual and emotional level just like you were. And they chose to spin it out forever. Did they think you'd always just be available? Or that they could just show up whenever they were ready? You're saying you will not tolerate the conflict. You won't. Nor should you. Or there is no competition, you're saying. There is no decision to make. There is no competition. I will not tolerate this. I will not. Congratulations, you finally figured out where your star is for myself. I did my work a long time ago, and you were one of my biggest lessons, so thank you for that. It made making decisions for me a lot easier. There's a reason you had that opening. It's a great showcase of how two people can be attached to spiritual lessons that judgment poses and says, figure it out if you ever want to be happy. You did. And you were rewarded. This person took way too long to figure it out. And even then, the showcase isn't big enough. You will not tolerate the competition. There is none. The High Priestess has told you your intuition to move on from this. Do not entertain it. Do not humor it. He's saying you will not suppress your Six of Cups. That's not even an option for you. You will show strength towards it. You have chosen this one. Okay. Okay. I completely agree with your decision. I want people to do better. And they did in the end. And that's going to count for something. And that will be the next lesson. Figure it out sooner, not later. And stop allowing ego and pride to get in the way of your decisions, particularly your spiritual and emotional based ones, because you're a living being and you're only here for so long. This one's weirdly dark. Summer growth. For many of you, you really kind of accelerated or amped up your growth about what happened. That would also explain the summer reference of July. And something possibly about last summer where you really understood the futility of this situation and then you started making decisions accordingly. For others of you, this upcoming summer represents your your year, your, your year of growth, your happiness under the sun, which again, that's also technically here. So summer overall from last year to this year might have been some really good growth time for you. And that could also be where I see you tentatively approaching that wholesome cup like you're almost confused by it. That should have been the focus today, but I'm just glad to see it here and you are sticking up for it. You've made your choice. You say, I will not harbor competition. You're not an option. Thank you for understanding I'm the star. Perhaps we should have understood it earlier because even then the output, the output is so small. There's no reason that couldn't have been achieved way back here. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's by meaningful coincidences, spiritual awakening. I have no doubt that this person watches. Meaningful coincidences, the spiritual awakening is trying to add up. I have never seen somebody so singularly poked by the universe in my life to speed it up, learn your lessons. Otherwise, you're going to have that sense of loss and remorse and regret all over again. When Scorpio has to push you away, and they will not humor you because you couldn't drop a page of cups sooner and mean it. That's enough. All right, okay, that's enough. Scorpio, honey, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Congratulations to you personally on your sense of growth, decision-making, and hopefully you can see now how that's benefiting you because when you're showing me the strength of your decisions, you're choosing the six of cups even though you're apprehensive about it. That's okay. You're still making the right decision because you're no longer making the wrong ones. Okay? 
Um, that lack of spiritual growth spurts driving me crazy because they had all the tools just like you did. I will say this, it's, that's you a thousand times over, emotional loyalty. I will not harbor competition. There, are, there is no competition. So thank you for finally understanding I'm part of your star, but you're not part of mine. You had your chance. That's your emotional loyalty a thousand times over. It's one of the things that makes us... It's one of our biggest critiques, and also the reason why people seem to be attracted to us. What's it like to be that diehard? Well, if you can't step up to this, you'll never know. Such as it is. I hope this helped you, like I said. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.